Hello, my little worms! I'm Day, and welcome back to Steam Roulette, the show where I play a randomly selected game from my Steam library for the very first time with minimal editing. And today we are playing Pop Up Dungeon! Did I have to look to my side to actually double check the name of that? Yes! <laughs> yes, I did! <laughs> this game has no logo on its main menu, which I, I do find uh, mildly uh, annoying. Uh, <laughs> I like having a big logo there that I can like, point to, but it's just a chest of something. I don't know. Something's inside it. We will have to find out, I would assume. So I'm assuming at this point what we need to do is click the chest, because create uh, options and exit don't really seem like what we want to do here, so that. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. There's a covered. Uh, this is the Wizard's Tower uh, tutorial, apparently. Uh, the party is locked, so I guess you can't do anything with that. Enter search text! <laughs> I was going to write the words search text. Because <laughs> it told me to enter search text, but apparently I can't type when it's locked. You ruined my joke, game. You ruined my joke! <laughs> and so I took that personally. The game had ruined my joke. I embarked on a several year journey to find the devs of this game. <laughs> no, I very much did that. I should probably actually stop this video. That, yes, that, that's probably a better use of my time, right? Yes, that would make sense. So perhaps it's time we push the big old start button up on the top right. Start! Confirm! Why have to confirm starting? I've already pushed your start button! I confirm. Aha! Uh -huh. We're here. There's an. Uh, okay, so we've got introductions. Uh, there's a dice up here. Um. You don't have to what? Sure. <laughs> uh, items and effects. Uh, we have none. Uh, can we do anything with the dice? No. I'm assuming that will come up at some point. Uh, introductions! This is a very helpful bat. The question is, who is he helping? Begin dialogue. <laughs> ah. Greetings, player. I am the Dingbat, servant of the wizard and your humble guide. Dingbat? That sounds like a made-up name. Nope, it's a naturally occurring name. Now listen up, you only gotta learn this stuff once, but I gotta teach it to everyone. So let's keep things curt, shall we? Okay, Dingbat. A, a what pack? <laughs> uh, lesson one, I guess. Location, dungeon classroom. Difficulty, novice. Encounters, one standard. Lesson one. How do I whack the goblin? <laughs> yes, I would like to know how to whack the goblin, please. And that's not a euphemism. That better not be a euphemism. <laughs> Trust. Trust what? Here we go. Click around to explore when not in combat. Look for me in the bottom left corner of the screen if you need guidance. Yaks. Ah. Yaks. <laughs> I think I was him completing his previous sentence. Check out the walls go down when I go near it like that. Where, where are we going? Like, over there, maybe? <laughs> Encounter! It's a goblin! Oh no, and now apparently I'm over here. During deployment, you can click on a character to change their starting location. Okay. So I can have you start somewhere else. Click on a highlighted tile to choose their new starting location. I, I, don't, I don't know. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah. Click on an arrow tile to set their orientation. I love to rate. This way. When you're ready, click on the start battle button. Uh, sure, I don't know what else I would be ready at this point, so start. Before you chop this goblin into nuggets, there are a couple of bubbles I'd like to introduce. Bubbles? Are those your friends, Dingbat? The blue bubble above an entity represents its action points. AP. This is the mana. Go juice or general spunkiness that you use to move and activate abilities. The green bubble represents your maximum movement for this turn. And in case this is your first RPG ever, the bar represents your health. When it's empty, we put you in the recycle bin. <laughs> Just kidding. We incinerate you and I breathe deep the sweet smoke of your ashes. Okay, uh, thank you, Dingbat. Uh Let's, let's hope it doesn't come to that, all right? The maelstrom. the maelstrom, you say? Since I'm a helpful bat, I'll highlight your ability cards according to how useful they are given your situation. 
Red is bad. Green is good. Blue is best. And if a card is grey, it can't be used at the moment. Double click a card to automatically activate an ability. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. We have Taunting Shout. Uh, we've got Chop Them to Bits. And we cannot currently use Hamstring. Uh, so we can taunt them, but is taunting them really useful in this situation? Because, like, what taunting them just make them attack us, but they're already going to attack us? I don't know. So let's let's just chop them. That seems like the most reasonable thing to do here. So double click. Chop! You've been partially damaged. Ah, oh, now we can uh, taunt. Hmm. I mean, I guess. Might as well. Yes, so they've been taunted. I don't still don't entirely know what that has achieved. Maybe they should have been taunted beforehand, but who does? End turn. Round two. Uh-huh, what's the goblin gonna do? Uh, club with armor penetration. Probably not the best. Uh, hmm. So again, we can just taunt and then chop again. Uh, taunt again. I, d I don't entirely know what taunting you does, but yes. Taunt you and then chop. And then uh, just probably end turn or they're saying that we should move. You can also use your action points to move. Click the tile again to perform. To perform? <laughs> to confirm, not perform. I don't know what I'm saying. Or an unhighlighted tile to cancel. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, eh. Go. If I can catch you, you're mine. But I'm not trying to catch them. I'm trying to run away from them. For no apparent reason. I don't know. The game just said that I could move, so I moved. I'm a penetration. Taunted. Taunted. Yes, you were double taunted. I don't know what that does, though. Ah, so does hamstring work when they move towards you or whatever? Helpful, that's what you're trying to teach me. Oh, look at you go. That's a reactive ability. Reactive abilities go off when the conditions are met. Look for the tab above the card to see that what kind of condition must be met. A red tab means it cannot be triggered on your turn. Oh, that's disappointing. A blue tab means that it can be triggered at any time. Helpful. Oh no, we've been clubbed again. Yes, that, that is, uh, we don't have an ability called Maelstrom. I'm terribly sorry, dude. Uh, I guess we're going to taunt them uh, again, because uh, what else can I really do here? I still don't know what it's doing. But we've taunted them. Uh, jump. Are they gone? We have ended the goblin. Success. We got a tunic. Mm. Equipment works the same way. Double click to automatically equip or drag up and release to custom equip. Uh, just equip, I guess. Uh, apparently less aim, but more health, so sure. The equipment you replaced is automatically unequipped, so it can be sold or handed down. Helpful. So, alright, uh. So we can sell it. Sure. <laughs> Why not? When all the enemies in a level are defeated, click on the exit level button to progress. Sure. Exit another level. Village, another pillage. This was not a village. We also did not pillage. <laughs> you lied. Level up. At the end of a level, you gain new statistics and abilities. Thank you, Big Bat. <laughs> Resistance. Decreases effectiveness of non-damaging actions taken against you. Sure. Why not? We have completed lesson one. Uh, party time, you say? I did. Now let's turn this party into our party. Get ready to choose a study buddy. Fun. Continue. Uh -huh. Uh Orin the Wizard, or Enola the Huntress. I mean, you do have a very magnificent beard, Orin, but... Eh, let's go the Huntress. I feel like this. Fair. It is not a hunting party without a hunter. Or a party. And we're trying to do the party thing. Uh, Anola lost an eye to the infamous guild of assassins known as the Owls. But she's willing to pledge her remaining peeper for your cause. While her use of binoculars has been halved, her aim is as deadly as ever. Aha. Can we see what the other guy says then? Stone standing in a field is worth a hundred lying on a mountain. Okay. Uh, Oren has taken exception with the fact that someone out there is placing definite articles uh, before the title wizard. Ah. Uh -huh. His long-range destructive magics are here to prove that he is, in fact, THE wizard. 
Yeah, but your, your, your the is not uh, capitalized, it's a, it's a lowercase the, so uh, unfortunately, I don't think you are the wizard, uh, you are an entirely different wizard, uh, Oren, uh, and because of this lie, I will be going with the Huntress. T terribly sorry, uh, Oren, but uh, this is just how it's going to have to be, my friend. Accept modifications! Ooh, what's this? Lesson 2. Dungeon Classroom. Novice. One standard encounter. Lesson 2. Mo friends, mo problems. Start level. Trust the axe. Uh -huh. Trust the axe to do what? To do what? You need to be more specific. What am I trusting the axe to do? Uh, uh huh. The first obstacle to overcome is always yourself. When deploying, click the turn order to see who goes when. Uh huh. So you are first. You are second. You are third. And you are fourth. Uh huh. Uh, so you're, you're just gonna be the first one. Uh, so we can move people around now, right? Yeah. Uh, can you shoot, like, over those things? I'm assuming you're ranged. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Is it worth risking is the problem? Uh, I might want you more over here. Uh, I, I'm worried they can't shoot over these, but they might be able to, but they might not be able to, but they might be... I'm gonna put you here, I think. Facing that way. You can mostly stay where you are. Not there will probably be good. Alright. Start battle. Let's hope this goes well. Again, what am I trusting the axe to do? Drag up and release a card to custom activate an ability. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, so we can taunt if we wanted to. It's probably a good idea to taunt. Dodd them! I've got crumbs of bread harder than you in my beard! I mean, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> uh, we can't do anything else for now because we used, uh, I guess, some of our action to move. So, yes, uh, you're just going to have to do what you do best. Take a lot of hits to the face. All right, let's see what happens here. We're going to come forward. Hamstring. All right, good, good, good. That's helpful. Uh, you've been hit on the head. It's not the best. Uh, you better be shot. Yes, you are definitely about to be shot. Okay, you've taken a lot of damage. Uh, another shot is that. Oh, it's just one. Oh, you're charging the shot. Great. Charged abilities like Enola's one shot, one kill can take a turn or more to activate. Don't tell the wizard I told you, but it's good to use them at the end of your turn. That is uh, very fair. Uh, okay, uh, this is a problem. Uh, so that gets rid of that mobility. Uh, can we use all of them? No, because it's each one's like a two. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I'm considering getting rid of the mobility of this guy so that when we move him backwards, maybe, he won't be chased by that. It won't help with the archer at all, though. Uh, but I yes, uh, I, I think I just automatically attacked, so that attacked the wrong person. Oops. <laughs> Uh, that's not what I intended to do, uh, but sure. Uh, that's why I need to custom activate the ability. Uh, do I have to like, drag it up and then choose? Click on a target tile for your ability, or drag the card back down to cancel. Yes, okay, so we can now try to hit you with that. There's only a 50% chance of killing, unfortunately. But I will try it. Uh -huh. Click on a green tile to activate from that location, or click on an unhighlighted tile to cancel. Uh, would I have a higher chance of killing if I'm closer? To me, it seems kind of unlikely. So, I don't think we necessarily need to, right? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't need fine. To Let's move you here. Uh-huh. And, uh, waiting for that charge. And now, we're probably gonna get screwed over, aren't we? Uh, alright. End turn. <sighs> okay. Uh... I don't think we have any way to just kill the goblet, unfortunately. Uh, uh, I'm very worried right now. I need that ranged kobold down. Uh, if we damage the kobold, it might be more likely to get taken out by the other attack. Uh, so the aim shot's going towards you. I now, would that matter if the if I'm in the path of that shot? It might. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna move. Uh, that's not a good idea, though, is it? Oh, it's more fun but fine, I'm moving you back here. Let's hope this goes well. Whew, I'm worried. End turn. 
Okay, you have more mobility and more penetration. You've been hit again, buddy. You've been hit again. That kobold is challenging up his aim shot ability. Better do something or he'll do big damage at the beginning of his next turn. Oh, no. Yes. So, you see that uh, he wasn't charging the ability. He started that on the previous turn. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh, that's off your health bar. Okay, uh... Uh, you're aiming a shot at them now. But hey, we can... One shot, one kill you. Uh, did that fail to kill you? Uh, 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 This is going poorly, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think I want to activate this ability on you. That feels like a good use right now to try to stop you from getting closer, because... Taking damage from both of them seems bad. If we move here, would we have some form of cover? I hope so. Uh, Alright, uh, activate you to take you out, please. Because I guess that the 50% chance just didn't kill. So that's just helpful. <sighs> Alright, uh, can this goblin reach us is now the concern. Uh, please tell me no, please tell me no. Ooh, ooh, goblin's turn. Can you make it over to me? It seems like you couldn't. Okay, that is helpful. That is really helpful. Okay. Uh, okay, I need you to go here. Yes. Uh, from here, we are going to hit it with this again. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let's really stop this goblin from moving. That's currently my plan. Just if this goblin doesn't move towards us, that'll be very helpful. And then shoot it with that for some amount of damage, and hopefully it can't reach us again. Come on, don't reach us, don't reach us. How many squares can you move? The Two. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that. Uh, okay, you're moving over here now. We're just gonna keep trying this. It's it's working. Okay, uh, activate that again. Uh, did you just walk closer to activate that ability? Okay. Uh, oh no, now we can't activate that. Crap. Uh, go back this way then. Oh man. But you walk close to me that I then couldn't fire my shot. But they shouldn't be able to reach us. What is the prey? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, whoo, uh, we still can't activate everything all at once is always the problem here. Uh, I think we can take it out though, so we don't need the one shot, one kill thing. Uh, alright, is that going to be enough to end you? No. But this should be. Okay, and fire! The goblin is down. <laughs> <laughs> we said that! We said that! Icicle! Aha! Uh -huh. uh, we could sell it or we could give it to someone. Uh, hmm. I, who is it useful to give it to? Like you? I don't really want to replace the bow, so I guess him? And then get rid of the axe! Sure! Be sure to stop and smell the paper every now and then! Okay. You'll find useful posters and handouts scattered around, around, about, I meant, about the classroom. Would you like me to go over some of them with you? Uh, sure, please do. Please do. Here are some of the hottest tips. A green seal for range means the ability ignores line of sight. You'll need aim to make the best use of ranged abilities. The icons next to effects on a card indicate its power type. Magic air, mundane slashing. Aha. Uh -huh. Power types. Mundane. Elemental. Water. Fire. Earth. Air. Long ago, the Four Nations lived in harmony, <laughs> but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacks. Uh, physical slash, pierce, blunt, and body. Energy is spirit, mind, light, and dark. There are three categories of power, with four unique types each. All powers have the same effect, but more specific powers are cheaper to get. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Each power has a corresponding defense. So you're up against scissors. You better throw some rocks. On the other side of an effect, you might see an icon like this, which means the effect will target the caster. Other icons to look for are trap, field, and origin. Traps and fields leave a chip on the board. A trap is removed when it triggers, while fields stick around for their duration. An origin icon means that the effect will only target the tile on which the ability was activated. And that's it. Look around the classroom for other tidbits, or click on props to watch them burn. Click on their tiles. Aha. 
Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Why am I allowed to just burn things? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm now going to burn everything. Because they've given me the option to burn things. <laughs> Alright, I think that might be everything that was burnable. So, uh, sorry about uh, your classroom. Uh, it's it's lacking on some of its uh, furniture now, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to get that back, right? Exit level. When's the feast? <laughs> Uh, probably not for a while after we're going to have to uh, spend all our feasting money on uh, new furniture, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Allows a percentage of an action's power through the target's defenses. The percentage is based on the ratio of armor penetration to defenses. Helpful. Boop. Listen to threes. A crowd is about the next one. Dare we add yet another member to this party? I think we do dare. Continue. Aha. Uh -huh. uh so, the Sarge, convince the Enchantress, or two is fine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what does it say under the Sarge? The Sarge is classified as a weapon of mass destruction. I mean, good for the Sarge. Uh, alright, let's go back then. Uh, convince the Enchantress. A lady requires a bit of convincing. Adept, roll seven or higher, a 70% chance. Hmm. Hmm. I like those odds, except challenge. <laughs> so, can I actually like, grab it and like, do it? I guess I just click it. I rolled a 14! That is above a 7! Success! <laughs> yes, I, 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 like, I like the sound of the odds, because why not? Layla joins the party. Uh, in the end, you're not sure who convinced who, uh, but Layla is coming with you, and she's brought coffee for everyone. Who's that, though? Isn't that like the wizard? Is that someone else? I don't know. Accept modifications? Ah, ew. Lesson three. Dungeon classroom. Novice. One boss. Lesson three. Boss cat. Oh no! We have to fight a cat who's a boss! <laughs> like all cats, they own your household. Don't pretend that they don't. <laughs> Start level. I missed the button. I may have missed the button. Don't ignore the fact that I missed the button. They no, do ignore the fact. Eh, <laughs> unimportant. Aha, we're gonna fight and feast again, apparently. As I assume we'd always do. Uh, aha. So, I guess we're walking around before things happen now. Burn. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't burn everything uh, in every level. I didn't want to actually go in the door. I was gonna go up there first, but fine. Go in the door then. Okay, okay. Hmm. So we have a goblin, a cat knight, Okay. <laughs> and a kobold. Ah. Adept Draconic Marksman. Adept Beastman Rogue. And Novice Hot-Headed Skirmisher. Uh-huh. I don't like the Marksman. I want the Marksman gone quickly. Okay. Uh, you... I... Uh, I can't put you all over here. I wanted you, like, here. Uh, alright. You have to stay where you are, honestly. Uh, okay. What are you... You're like, you're an enchantress, but like, what does that mean in terms of like, abilities and stuff? Uh, I don't know if you're someone that should be very far away or very close to the front lines, so... Yes, I want to be shooting that, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put you more up this way, I think, for now. Because I don't know what you do, so that's, that's my uh, current plans. Okay. Oh no! It's the dreaded Cat Knight! Uh-huh. That is de definitely a cat. This skitty kitty has cat-like reflexes and will jump away when you try to attack it. Oh no. You can tell an enemy has a reaction like Magnol's hamstring ability when you see a red flag beneath their health bar. Saying react apparently. End. 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 There's no end there. Stick with me. I'll let you figure out how to handle this elusive hand panther. Interesting. But if you want more information on an enemy or ability... Right-click it, and all the information shall be yours. <laughs> Understood, Trust Dingbat. Understood. Uh, again, what am I trusting the axe to do? Hmm. So I could get you there, but then all I can do is chop. Ha. 
Uh, what does this do? How, do, how does that activate? <laughs> it doesn't have a number at the top. It doesn't have a thing saying it's like a movement or something else ability. So can I just not use that? <laughs> Maybe. Definitely possible. I don't know. Uh, we could taunt one of them. I just... What does taunting do? What does taunting do? I think it just makes them attack him. Which I don't need. Right, I'm sending you here. <laughs> this beats ruined. Okay. And now we're going to chop them. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know how effective it will be, but yes. Chop them! Nice! <laughs> okay, we don't have to worry about that ranged unit anymore. Uh, end your turn. Okay. What can you do? Uh, dispel, uh, if friendly, purge things. Okay, that doesn't seem that helpful, if I'm being honest. Uh, you can give haste to someone, that seems helpful. Uh, or you can charm someone. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll. I'm willing to charm the cat. <laughs> Why not? Let's charm the cat. Okay. Hostile ability. The kitty just did something. It is charmed though, so that's something. Uh, then apply haste. Uh, who do we just apply it to? Yourself. Oops. Uh, kind of want to apply it to you, but sure, fine. Apparently, we put it on. <laughs> play with them. All right. We've got our hunter now. Uh, hunter, I want you like more down here, I think, but ugh. Ooh, what does an arc shot do? Is it less damage? It's more than a twang. I would like to reduce the maneuverability of the cat knight or goblin right now. Uh, the cat knight's charmed. Maybe try to get the goblin? Uh, if we put you over there, you can only do a single two thing. Uh, that's not fun. I don't know if you'll be able to reach the thing. Uh, if I tell you to do it on there, are you capable of walking over to, like, there? I don't think so. Uh, but I don't know. Okay, uh, let's try to move you a bit closer to do something. Uh, here? Okay, I'll move you here. Uh, can we arc shot you? Yeah, we can arc shot you. Regular shot the cat. The cat will jump back if it's shot, though. Hmm. I can also try to do that, but it's only a 30% chance to kill. Probably not worth doing right now. Uh, I guess maybe go with the goblin for now? Because it seems like a good idea to try to get a lot of enemies down for, you know, action economy. We don't want a lot of enemies having a lot of actions against us, but I would like to do a lot of damage to the cat, so oh, I'm a little worried. I can't do anything with this, can I? I don't know why it's, like, glowing, though, because I don't have action, so end turn, I guess, right? Why aren't you ending turn? I double-clicked it. Yes, you're currently charmed. Which I think, uh, does that charm mean I control you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Can I tell you to attack your goblin? Huh. Okay, Charmed is very useful. <laughs> I thought it would just, like, not attack us. Instead of, like, I get to control it and make it do something for me. That's very helpful. Uh, ooh, you've taken some damage there, which I didn't really want. Yes, I, I've heard this. Um, okay, uh, uh... Okay, I'm gonna put you here. Apparently. Uh, Alright. Attack the goblin with a chop from behind. It should be down. It is. Good. You are now also the closest to the cat knight, so I'm hoping the cat knight will attack you. Uh, Alright, so now you're turn again. So can I try to re-charm? <laughs> yes. Charm again. Yeah, I don't like the fact that it gets more evasion for a turn after it's charmed, though. That's not fun. Uh, can we then haste... Uh, yeah, you. Sure, why not? I don't totally know what hasting like that does, but sure. Uh, we could also do this, which I will do because it says it gets rid of buffs, right? So that will get rid of the evasion, which is helpful. Uh, end turn. Uh, the prey is the cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so you currently have quite a lot. I don't know if you can currently hit easily from here, though. Uh, seems like you'll be good. Uh, hmm. I think you need line of sight for, like, this one, maybe. Uh, 
Okay, would that count as line of sight if I'm standing here? Why is it wanting to attack that? Maybe it's like only a distance sort of thing? I, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's red, so I just don't know if I can do anything with it. I guess not. Alright, I won't bother then. Uh, so, alright, I think we'll do an arc shot. <laughs> this is the first thing. Will the cat jump backwards now? Or is that after the turn it does that? Might be after the turn. Uh, so we can do a second arc shot, I guess. Uh, how much will we have left after that? Alright, yeah, let's do another arc shot. Is that enough? No. Uh, can we do this now? Or are we incapable? Okay. We can do that, I guess. Uh, so you are charging that attack. I don't know if the cat will still be up uh, by the time it gets back around to you, but sure. Uh, I want you to use your deep cut uh, on that. Because uh, <laughs> why not, honestly? Uh, <laughs> just waste uh, something of your turn, at least. Uh, all right. You have your reaction, but it shouldn't matter. Uh, I'm going to taunt the cat to target him in particular, I guess. That's probably better. Okay. Taunt you so that you will attack him. Uh, unfortunately, I can't now do a chop, so they're just going to have to end that one. Uh, it's now your turn. Uh, I don't think you have anything that does damage, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Uh, charm, then, I guess. Let's just make sure that the cat can't do anything. Alright. You have been sufficiently charmed. Uh, I'm now going to give the spirit of coffee uh, to you again, maybe? Or to you? Hmm. I'm going to give it to you because I think the other one's already got enough. We only need like, one attack to actually finish this, so yes. I'll give it to you. And now I'm going to dispel uh, the effect on you because that seems like a smart thing to do. Okay, you no longer have the evasion. We can now end this turn. It is now your turn to one shot, one kill. I don't think it worked. God damn it. <laughs> that attack has never worked. Just just shoot him. Okay, just bang. Oh look, bang was way more effective. <laughs> Widowmaker, you are not. <laughs> ah. What's this? Messenger's mail. Uh, more health, but less aim. What are, what are those saying there? Uh huh. You can compare items by hovering over a character's portrait on the left. Uh, click to equip. Uh, Alright, so you've got support and life siphon is down. Uh, you've got speed up and focus down right now. Uh, you've already got the health. I I might give it to you, maybe? More health on you seems like useful. And I'm not sure how much the aim is currently mattering right now, so... Yes. And then I guess get rid of that. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to do in here, so exit level! Pillage, another pillage. Again, we did not pillage a village. Improve your aim. Aha. Uh -huh. That is helpful. Uh, ooh, we can increase the range of chop. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Yes. Like, chop's range would be quite helpful. Because, like, it's a melee thing that we could then make less melee, or we could have the ranged person be able to attack from even further away, which is also quite helpful. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I get... Ch I think chop. Chop seems better here. Just making that be able to attack from like two away instead of one away. Made the grade! Congratulations, graduate! You are well on your way to becoming a master of boredom! <laughs> you may prove worth uh, worthy... You may prove a worthy adversary for the wizard! Yay. What does it say? A letter to gamers. Interesting. A letter of dubious origins crosses your desk. It is addressed from someone referring to themselves as the wizard. You take your D20 pommeled brass letter opener. <laughs> I love it. And dispatch the seal on the back of the envelope. Recycling bin at the ready. But just as you unfold the letter, it begins to read itself aloud. Letters shouldn't do that. That's just not, that's not how letters work. Letters are supposed to be read in your head and not by someone else aloud. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you could also read it aloud yourself, technically, if you so chose. But then you're just revealing the contents of the letter to all those around you. And it's important to keep your secrecy. Begin dialogue. Uh-huh. 
life drowns you in challenges, and yet you seek out more in games. True. Sure. Some would think you're seeking refuge from the world's problems, but escapism is most dangerous when you actually need to escape, isn't it? True. Also, one of those words was not what was written there. <laughs> and I both know that's not what this is. You seek these challenges because you're bored with reality, and I'm here to remedy that in one way or the other. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Fun! Who or what I am is not important. What I do is important. Mankind is an ungraded test, and I'm holding the red pen. Okay. And I will grade you on your greatest strengths, creativity and determination. Oh crap, those are my greatest strengths? I didn't know those were my greatest strengths. Oh crap. <laughs> you will learn that the difference between fact and fiction is the power to decide which is which. Ooh. But which which is which? This power I grant to you. So bring your mightiest heroes, most powerful legends, saltiest streamers, and dankest <laughs> memes. <laughs> <laughs> Saltiest streamers and dankest memes. I was not expecting that. I await you atop my tower. Worry not. I threaten no violence. You may lose as often as you'll tolerate. However, mm -hmm. when I win, and I will win, your creativity shall be my trophy. Without it, humanity is surely doomed to a dim end. That my creativity in particular, humanity is doomed to a dim end. Well, humanity, you've had a good run. No, you haven't. You really haven't. I've, I've seen what you've done, humanity. I've seen what you've done. But no pressure. After all, it's just a game. Yes, it is just a game. <laughs> do it. <laughs> just do it. Uh, I don't want to wait. Unlock story-driven campaigns and runs now. Okay, and what does, what does wait do? I can wait for when storage room campaigns and runs will be unlocked during my climb of the Wizard's Tower. Okay. Do it! You've earned the Wizard's Seal of Approval. Achievement sticker unlocked. Ah. Story driven campaigns. You have unlocked a new game. Story driven campaigns. Forge a path through long form fantasy and sci fi adventures. Your journey begins at the cursed town of Sweetwater. Good to know. But I think I'm going to end this one here. We've been going for quite a little while now. Uh, <laughs> and this feels like a pretty good stopping point. So, yes. It's been fun. This has been a very interesting sort of game. A lot of reading, though. My throat is not enjoying that. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's not been the most fun. But the game itself, I like it. Very good. Well, Pop-Up Dungeon has certainly been an interesting experience. I would not be opposed to playing more of this. That was uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I, I especially liked being able to burn every object in a room methodically one by one. I don't know how much of that was in the video, though. It did take like two minutes. Uh, maybe I edited that down. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. But you do know. Isn't that fun? You know something that I don't. <gasps> you probably know a lot of things that I don't. I'm very stupid, you see. <laughs> go to the next segment. Just go to the next segment. <laughs> And now it's time for the greatest part of any Steam Roulette, where we find out what game we're going to be playing uh, next time. Time to push the discover button. Come on game, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Don't be an RTS. Please no RTS. Fingers crossed no RTS. Monster Train. Hell has frozen over. Only you can protect the final burning pyre from the forces of heaven and restore the inferno. Monster Train brings a new strategic layer to roguelike deck building, with three vertical play fields to defend. Interesting. Yes, but all right, I, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> I, I, I do like a good uh, roguelike card game, so yeah, sure. Let's go. Well, sounds like another fun game. Uh, it's not an RTS, so I'll take it. Anytime it's not an RTS, I'm happy. <laughs> anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this? Ring the notification bell, it does something nice to don't know what. And I'll be seeing you guys in Monster Train. But for now, goodbye everybody, and roll the outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved. funeral
fit for a king.